this is Frida welcome to my channel for today's tutorial I am uh, going to show you how to crochet this lovely motif it is one of my subscriber Mukates <laughs> she messaged me and she asked me if I can uh, do a tutorial actually I had this particularly motif in my uh, I should make it as soon as possible but you know when you don't have enough yarn thread it, you just think about it so I said to myself after messaging her I said uh, as, as soon as I gathered the yarn I will start the tutorial so finally today I am uh, sitting down actually I started as soon as she as soon as I replied back to her I, so I looked at my stash and I found white 100% uh, cotton yarn in my stash and I started it so I'm going to show you how to do this uh, I don't know how many videos I'm going to be making but um, yeah so uh, that's and I will start okay so here's the motif it is pretty big big just to let you know and uh, I think it turned out perfect what do you guys think so I only did two and I'm working on the third and uh, so today I will show you how to do one motif it's up to here and I will show you how to join and I will show you how to make this little tiny one so these parts will be covered okay the yarn that I'm using is Burnett Handicrafter it's 100% uh, cotton yarn and it's a four weight so I had this uh, half a pound of uh, you know those big balls that you have and uh, what I did is I finished the two and I started the third so I'm going to, uh, so I have this left, so what I'm going to do is, and I have another half a pound here, so uh, I am thinking, because it's pretty big, with the, with the half a pound you can uh, crochet four motifs. And if you have a two pound, uh, half a pound, if you have one pound, you can crochet a total of eight motifs. So when I measure it, it's just over 30, uh, 30 inches wide. So if you do four uh, motifs, then it would be uh, thir 30 by 30. So it would be perfect for a baby blanket. But I'm planning to use up the one pound that I have so it's going to be 60 by 60 yeah and uh, it would be bigger and uh, yeah so uh, just to point out if you have a thinner yarn then it's of course it's going to be smaller so today I am going to show you how to crochet this and we're going to start in the middle right in the middle here and it's done with popcorn stitches it's very easy and it goes very fast so uh, grab the yarn that you have. If you don't, go into your stash. I'm sure you have yarn. Because when I uh, digged into my stash, I found, uh, I found these yarn in my stash. So I have a couple of bags of this. Again, they are uh, half a pound. They're Burnett Handicraft, 100% cotton. Just to show you, these have been in my stash for years banana yellow so I don't know maybe I will make something out of this and I paid five dollars Canadian yeah <laughs> that's why I haven't I found green as well I have gr I found green color as well this is nice green color I don't know I was thinking of making a cardigan for myself but uh this yarn is thinner than the handicrafter because these are these are 100% cotton but uh yeah, they're the mill ends, like you can always check the mill ends. But this is thinner, just to point out, it's thinner than the Handicrafter. So I paid $4 for this. Yeah, made in Canada. So if you have yarn like this, I would highly recommend. I wanted to use the white, just to get rid of the, the white in my stash. So grab the yarn that you have, and let's get started. 
I am using a four millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to make, make your magic ring. Chain five, two, three, four, five, and then make a double crochet. <clears throat> so we're gonna make a total of eight. Chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So we're making total of eight nests for the next row. Chain two, double crochet. So we've got two, four, five, chain two, six, chain two, seven, two, four, six, seven, chain two, eight, chain two. Okay, I'm pulling this as tight as I can. And then I'm just going to join here, just like this. So we made our first row. Okay, so we're going to chain three to go up. And then I'm going to make popcorns, just to show you. So I'm going to make my popcorns. So before I make my popcorn, I'm going to make a, put a marker just to show where I'm joining and I just dropped my marker <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna put my marker here just to show that this is the divider to start the next row so I'm going to make total of five double crochet so I made one two three four and then five oops and I come to the first the uh, double crochet and I make a popcorn a chain six two three four five six so there's six chains on each after when you make a popcorn when you're making another popcorn so between they're always six chain so then I continue making each popcorn on each nest that we created so I will let you crochet popcorns all the way around and uh, I will meet you back to start on the next row okay so I'm almost finishing and I just wanted to show you last uh, doing the last popcorn so I make total of five double crochets three four five and then I come to the first double crochet and I pull it and I secure it and I chain one two three four five six and what we usually do is <clears throat> we usually do a slip stitch or a single crochet and chain three instead of doing that because I don't like it because what yeah I don't like doing that so I like to do it spiral round and around without doing joining so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a double crochet just like that like I'm automatically going to continue making a popcorn stitch so five double crochets instead of making a single cr uh, join and then chain three to go up that's why I put the marker so I won't get lost and uh, see so I don't have to do that extra work you don't have to do it if you want to do it you're welcome to uh, do a single crochet join and then chain chain three to go up but uh, yeah I'm not gonna do that <laughs> okay so we're here and then what we're going to do is we're going to make we're going to make two popcorns and six chains in between here and then on the next one what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to chain three and then make these two chain between 
for that row that's all we're going to do so I made my first popcorn and then I changed the back uh, so uh, you can see it better on the white unfortunately I started with the white yarn before I found my yellow and the green yarns in my stash I haven't ordered any yarn so uh, I'm still hesitate to order yarn because of this uh, um, virus going on just using my stash and uh, this is better I think two two four six and then I make a, another popcorn on the same nest that we created the six chains that we created two three four five double crochets one two three and then I jump here and I make a double crochet we're creating the V chain two and then make another double crochet chain one two three and then come to the next vest a nest <laughs> and then make popcorns. So we're going to repeat this all the way around. So we're making corners here. If you look at the <clears throat> pattern here, we're creating these corners, four corners, and then we're going to make these leaves. So that's how we're starting to make the leaves okay so let me move this Oops. and then so I will let you crochet and then I will meet you at the join so there's three chain between and two chain here on between the V the double crochet and then six chain on the popcorn so two popcorns on one nest and then on the V is a we create V's okay so I just finishing this row and I did my V I did three chain one double crochet two chain one double crochet one two three chain so I'm I automatically this is what I like about it I just automatically make my popcorn on my next row so this is all going to be popcorn on this nest that we're creating so again, I'm going to make a five double crochet to create my popcorn. I did have, I did, I'm, I am getting comments that I'm crocheting fast. Unfortunately, these are tutorials, so I have to crochet fast and I'm racing with the time because uh, I don't want you guys to get bored. If I do it very slow, you will get bored and you can always slow it down. If you go into the settings, you can slow. Uh, so please don't comment about that. <laughs> That's nonsense. Like you can slow it down. Okay, just wanted to point that out. If you go into your settings, you can even Google how to slow it down. Yeah, unfortunately, it's YouTube. I'm trying to crochet as fast as I can. So I did my three chain, and on here, on to, I come on top of the double crochet. So again, we are creating the leaves and then I'm going to chain two in between here where the two chains is. I'm going to make uh, three double crochets, two, three, two chain and then come on top of the double crochet, chain three. And then make your popcorns again on the corner. So we are making a foundation to create the leaf. This is how it looks like. So I'm going to let you crochet on the corners. We just do popcorn and then six chain between. And then you start making the leaf. Okay, so I'm on the next row. I'm going to move my marker. <laughs> here I already did the popcorn just didn't want you it's only five double crochet six and then you make your popcorn and then you'd make six chains and then again you make uh, you crochet five double crochet so I didn't want to go over that you already know 
hopefully. So one, two, three, chain, and I'm crocheting the next row. Okay, the one double crochet, two chain, and here on this three double crochet, we're going to make two double crochets on each. So one, two, and then I'm going to go to the next double crochet and then crochet two double crochets on the same spot and then on the third so you should have a total of six double crochets on this so again we are crocheting this part this part right here okay then what we're going to do is so after crocheting, two chain between, and then make a double crochet on top of the double crochet. Just like this. So this is how it will look like. Then three chain. One, two, three. And then you make your popcorn on the corners again. So I will let you crochet all the way around. And that's all you do on this row. Three chain one double crochet two chain and then a double crochet twice on each double crochet and then I will meet you back uh, back here I don't want to go over the, the the popcorn so super easy and elegant one of a kind <laughs> okay so I just finished this row so we're going to be here so here we're going to be crocheting here so we're going to make three popcorns to create these popcorns on each so two two so we're right here right now so we're going to make eight double crochets here on the uh, leaf okay so let me move this again and then <laughs> So I made my popcorn. Here is my three popcorn. And there's six chain between. So one, two, three. I jump here where the double crochet is and make a double crochet on top. Two chain. And then on this uh, two, four, six, we're going to make eight. We're going to increase. So two here. And then we're going to make two double crochets there. So three. And then the rest is uh, one double crochet on top of each double crochet. Six, seven, and the eight double crochet. Okay, so chain two. Then come to make the double crochet on top. Chain three. And then here on this nest, we're going to make three double crochets just like this so the next row we're going to make two here two here popcorns yeah lots of popcorns lots of double crochets are involved so I just make my five double crochet and then make my popcorn one two three four five six between and then make the second popcorn. Two, three, four, five double crochet. And then come back to the first and make your popcorn. One, two, three, four, five, six double crochet, uh, six, six chain. <laughs> and then make the third popcorn. So two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, from now I'm not going to show you how to make popcorns as you know it's how to make. It's time consuming. Two, three. Just going to let you do the popcorns. But meanwhile, I will show you one more time on this. I come on top of the three chain and then I make a double crochet on top of the double crochet. Two chain. And then I make two double crochets on the first. 
because we're increasing, right? And then one on each double crochet until we come to the end. So we should have a total of eight double crochets. Two, four. Okay, how come we have more here? Two. I did two here see yeah always count we need to have a total of eight always go back and count two four six and then two double crochets on this spot it gives that uh, increased look okay so I'm gonna let you crochet and I will meet you at the next row so two chain one double crochet don't forget this and then three chain and then make your popcorn okay so I'll meet you on the next row okay so we're, we're right here right right here now we're making two popcorns on each and then we're just gonna continue crocheting eight double crochets we're gonna repeat what we did but here we're going to be making uh, two double crochets on each nest so we should have a total of four and then six don't forget there's six chains on between so I just do my two three chain and I come where the double crochet is and I chain two and then I make my eight double crochets just like this so this row is only this and you make four double uh, popcorns on each uh, corner okay I'm going to be ending my uh, my video is going to be ending so I will see you on part two just continue crocheting another row like this and then you do two chain one double crochet and then three chain and then you make your two popcorns on each corner so you should have a total of uh, four popcorns two on one nest and two on the other nest just like this four five 